A NEW AND SIX, A MAJOR BUS THIS WEEK AS AGENTS ARRESTED 24 MEN IN NEW JERSEY AND THEY'RE ACCUSED OF TRYING TO LURE CHILDREN FOR SEX. IT'S ALL HAPPENING ON THOSE POPULAR ONLINE APPS AND VIDEO GAMES. NOW ALL OF THE SUSPECTS JOINED GAMES AND APPS WITH CHAT ROOM FEATURES THAT ALLOWED THEM TO TALK TO THEIR TARGETS. WAY 31'S NAJA SHERMAN SPOKE WITH FBI CYBER EXPERTS HERE IN HUNTSVILLE TO LEARN MORE ABOUT DIGITAL DANGERS AND AN IMPORTANT WARNING EVERY PARENT SHOULD HEAR. Mother Emily Perry told me she monitors her son's online activity now closer than ever before. Recently, her son had quite a scare while playing an online video game that allowed him to interact with other players. Well, he was playing, it was Roblox, and they kept asking, um, accept my request, accept my request, as in a friend request. Well, I go in and I accept the request, thinking it's just a normal age child like he is. Well, come to find out, it's some, it's come to find out it's a woman. And she's just like, you know, you can come to my house and play. According to the Crimes Against Children Research Center, one in five U.S. teenagers who regularly log on to the Internet say they have received unwanted sexual solicitation via the web. Research from the Center for Missing and Exploited Children shows 75% of children are willing to share personal information online about themselves and their family in exchange for goods and services. Special agent with the FBI, Scott Pierre, deals with the worst of the worst child exploitation cases in our region. He told me more than half of them typically begin with the predator making contact with a child online. All the video game systems now have the ability to play online, and kids love to do that. My own kids love to do it themselves. Uh, they want to play with other kids. They want to compete against other kids. The issue is the same that we see with these social media apps. You don't always know who the person is on the other game system. In Perry's case, she blocked the adult who tried to make contact with her child and no longer allows her son to play interactive video games unless she is sitting right next to him. Bottom line, FBI agents told me that your children should never play interactive video games unsupervised. And it's also extremely important that they know never to accept a friend request from someone they don't know personally. For Way 31 News, I'm Naja Sherman.